Customizing your Google Cloud settings. Hey guys, how you doing today? In this video, we will show you step-by-step, -step, straight to the point, how to get your Google Cloud API key, as well as your Google Cloud Storage bucket name, so you can use Streamer by Vidtune to its fullest. Creating a Google Cloud Console account. So, let's start by going to cloud.google.com. If you are creating a Google Cloud Console account for the first time, you will see a button called Get Started for Free. Click on it. You will be asked to log in with a Google account, which is the same as your Gmail account. Log in with your Google account if Google asks you for it. The page will be showed to you in a language according to your location. Here, Google tells you you can access all Cloud Platform products you will get $300 in credit for free to spend in the next 30 to 90 days. And also, you would need to provide your credit card details to make sure you are not a robot, but they won't charge you anything until you manually upgrade. Here, you will pick your country and accept the terms of service and click on Continue. You will then be asked to create a payment profile. You will need to provide your account type, name and address, payment method, Add the info for your payment method and click on Start My Free Trial, and you should be redirected to your Google Cloud Console right away after that. If you already have a Google Cloud Console account, you will see a button called Go to Console. Click on it, and if you are already logged into your Google account, you will be redirected to the Google Cloud Console right away, getting your Google Cloud API key. Once in the Google Cloud Console, you will need to create a project. For that, go over to this drop-down list here and click on New Project. Give your project a name and click on Create. You will be redirected again to your Google Cloud Console. What you will do now is to go over to this drop-down list here again and select the project you just created and open it. Now, let's enable some APIs needed. There are four APIs you will need to enable in order to properly use Streamer by Vidtune. For that, click on this menu icon. Hover over APIs and Services, and click on Dashboard. Search for Speech, and click on the Cloud Speech-to-Text API, and enable it. If you don't see an Enable button, but a Manage button, it means you already enabled this API some other time in the past, so you don't need to do anything else here. Search for Speech again, and click on the Cloud Text-to-Speech API, and enable it. Search for Translation, and click on the Cloud Translation API, enable it. And lastly, do a search for storage and click on this Cloud Storage API option. Enable it. Great. Now it's time to create the API key. For that, click on the menu icon again. Hover over APIs and Services and click on Credentials. Click on Create Credentials. Select API key. And here, you will preview your API key. Just copy it and save it in a safe place. We will tell you what to do with it in just a minute. Getting your Google Cloud Storage Bucket Name For getting your Google Cloud Storage Bucket Name, we will need to create a storage bucket. For that, go over to your Google Cloud Console and click on this menu icon. Go to the Storage section of the menu. Hover over Storage and click on Browser. And click on Create Bucket. Give your bucket a name and click on Create. Now, let's make it public. For that, click on Permissions. Click on Add. Here, you will type All Users and select that option. Let's select a role. Hover over Cloud Storage and select Storage Admin and click on Save. Finally, click on Allow Public Access. And there, you will see the All Users member listed. Go back to the list of your buckets created, and this will be the name of your bucket. 
So write down that name together with your API key. Now you just need to go back to your Streamer by Vidtune app. Add your API key and bucket name and click on Save. Awesome guys, that's about it.